Hi YouTubers, welcome again to my channel. If you're new to this channel, please subscribe. Today's review is really on the brand new update that just dropped today, and that is the 2021.4.15 update from Tesla. Um, and I have it here, I just installed it. Uh, it took about 25 minutes, and it was a really weird update for you guys that, that are probably watching this video and, and it's gonna go install right now. It's a really weird update because I was sitting in the car while the update was running and it had so much noise that I were making with this update. You can hear like a, a loud banging noise while sitting in the car while the update was, uh, was happening. Uh, very strange update, but yeah, this update is um, available for um, you guys to download. It's actually, you can see it right there on the screen, 2021.4.15. We just had an update about a month ago and we are due for some major changes on um, these updates. I want to point out this update is a very um, minor update. It does say here minor cold weather um, improvements and bug fixes. Um, while the update was happening, I'm going to put the screenshot here, but while the update was happening, um, I was reading the information that was um, taking place on the screen, which, which is pretty cool. Um, and this update uh, does uh, disable the dash cam view so we all know the tesla has a cabin um camera and that's a located above this um uh, mirror and it disables that dash cam view which is pretty cool um there's a lot of enhancement in or improvement on the autopilot uh, which i'm gonna give it a drive and see what that is there's no changes in um, how everything is laid out on the system everything is still the same you have all the same controls uh, here we go to software update uh, and if you go to release note uh, does not give you a lot of information here on the release note um, you guys can see here there's really nothing all it says uh, minor cold weather improvement and bug fixes additional enhancements have been made to improve overall experience of driving a Tesla in cold weather um, so really when whenever you see the cold weather um, improvements really just means that we're getting a little bit more um, efficiency when it comes to holding the charge on the battery during cold weather it also means that we're probably getting a little bit more regenerative braking um, from driving in cold weathers and that seem seems to be the trend uh, the last couple of updates is minor fixes however I did want to say there was a couple more imp improvement in the autopilot experience so I'm gonna go ahead and drive um, in autopilot and see what some of those changes are but just want to make a quick video on this update. Uh, you guys should definitely do it. It's a very quick update. Not, as you guys can see, not a lot of improvements overall, but very, um, I guess, good for the car to maintain good drive efficiency. So I'm gonna take it out for a drive and see if there's any major drive changes while, while driving. So, Heading out here, I'm in the garage, so uh, hopefully the lighting is better. Um, all right, let's take it over here. And uh, we're gonna go and take it for a drive on the road. Um, right now I can't turn on the autopilot, the basic edition that comes with a car. Um, see, I don't have any white lines, so it wouldn't allow me to turn it on. Uh, hopefully I get some white lines around here. I could turn on the auto steer that comes with this model. So right now I still don't have white lines. Let me see if I can turn it on. So it says they're temporarily not available. So I'm gonna drive it around the block and see. Uh, there's really not a lot of changes so far. I'm noticing just have the basic uh, information. You see the car roll around the block. It just shows you the bins. There's the stop sign, which I have already seen that before. Um, driving is still the same. I'm not seeing a lot of changes in driving. I'm gonna go up this street here and I should get so right now I have white lines so I'm gonna turn on the auto steer see if it makes a big difference. Uh, let's get up to uh, let's see 45 50 and now we have auto steer on as you guys can see I'm not using the steering wheel not a lot of changes, car still feels the same way in terms of driving, a little bit more smoother in the driving experience. Usually it's a little bit of jerky and it slows down a little bit and then it picks up 
um, but so far still the same not a lot change but there you go guys if you haven't um, subscribed to the channel please subscribe um, and we'll see you in the next video just want to make a shorter video on this uh, software update again this is a 2021.4.15 update from Tesla and I'm sure this is um, I guess conditioning car for more updates to come but hopefully um, you guys enjoy this update very basic not a lot of changes um, so don't expect any big changes in the uh, way the system is set up in terms of the um, how everything shows up on the touch screen it's really exactly the same but a uh, pretty cool update and um, we'll see you in the next video guys thank you